What's wrong, Koromaru? Is someone there? Someone's coming this way. It can't be. You're... So I wasn't seeing things. Shuji Ikutsuki! Ah, Akihiko and Ken. It's been a while. Are you enjoying this? You! So you were the one behind this after all. Now don't glare at me like that. This is the perfect place for our reunion. It was quite troublesome to prepare. The one you're taking great pains to find will be the one giving you great pains. Or something like that. <laughs> We're finally reunited, and I don't even rate a hello. Or do you not want to speak to someone you killed? Is that it? Huh? Killed? Ah, you must be the fifth generation weapon Labrys. Poor thing. Didn't they tell you? That's right. They killed me. Of course, since I'm standing right here, I guess they almost killed me would be more precise. That's ridiculous! You're the one who lied to us and tried to kill us! Calm down, Ken. He destroyed himself. He can't possibly still be alive. Who are you, really? Oh, how cruel. Here I am, talking right before your eyes, and you still won't believe it. Why don't we ask the three who just arrived what they think of this? No way! How are you? Don't be fooled, everyone. I can feel it. What's standing there is... Indeed, that is not Ikutsuki-san. He's a fake, created by a shadow. <laughs> Just a foolish trick. That's what I thought. <sighs> ah, well. You're a piece of junk, but you have a good nose, huh? You could have let me play around for a little while longer. Who are you? So everybody connected to Kurijo's here, huh? The looks on your faces are hilarious! You talk the big talk, but deep down, you were totally freaking out over old Ikutsuki-chan. <laughs> I couldn't see your faces in person last time, though. You remember, don't you? It was when I took control of that scrap like the puppet it is! <laughs> you were behind the abduction of Labrys then. Yeah. It was a crazy performance, huh? That weapon took a lot of whipping. <laughs> uh, you need an introduction or something? My name's Sho. Sho Minazuki, and I'm behind all this. Welcome to my world, Kirijo lackeys. Sho... Minazuki? What is the meaning of this? What are you setting us all up like this for? Huh? What are you whining about, you little shit? I was letting you have some fun. It's a little entertainment. Oh, uh, then I guess I do have a score to settle with you. Ikutsuki was my dad, after all. Dad? That's impossible. You're lying! He didn't have any kids! Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna kill you all. Toy 
playing with people and hurting them like this? What are you trying to accomplish? Huh? I've had enough. If you're hurting from your dad being killed, I get that. But is this the only way you can deal with it? Labrys, Mitsuo-san's people are risking their lives to try to end this tragedy themselves. They're doing their best to take responsibility for what happened. And I already know that your Ikutsuki guy lied to Mitsuo-san, betrayed them, and... Shut up, you goddamn puppet! <gasps> You've never even met him, so enough with your shit! Or what? Are you gonna lecture me like you're a real person? What a joke. You bastard! But don't get the wrong idea now. I already told you that I don't give two shits about Akutsuki. He used me and threw me away, that asshole. <sighs> it doesn't matter. See, all you bastards are in my way. Every single living thing is in my way. Every goddamn thing! What? What are you talking about? That's just insane! <laughs> I'm insane? It's this world that's insane. All this bullshit about the power of friendship and close bonds and whatever. It's a pile of garbage. Trash! Bastards, die! Just go away forever, goddammit! I'll get rid of every last one of you. I'll annihilate you along with this entire world! What? I know this emotion. Labrys? It's... He doesn't truly hate the world. What he really feels is... Labrysson, look out! <laughs> Don't say another word, you failure. <gasps> Ugh, what a drag. I'm tired of this. Well, I've already got enough Persona Fragments, anyway. Persona Fragments? Wait, do you mean... So, it's time to get the real show started. Here's a question for you. What do you think this is? That's... Is that the remote Akutsuki was using when he controlled Igis? No. Stop him! Too late. Activating the anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys! 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 <laughs> this is fun! Oh, by the way, I didn't stick a device in it or anything to do this. <laughs> a weapon is there to be controlled, so, of course, there's a remote control. It's been built into that thing from the very beginning! <laughs> I told you I'd destroy everything, right? Friendship? What a joke. One push of a button, and it all means nothing! Sister, please pull yourself together. <gasps> I guess! Now! <laughs> you just won't die, will ya? That's not good enough! Damn it! <laughs> Not one of you's coming to help, huh? You couldn't anyway. My remote controller's more of a remote control her. <laughs> Kidding! Now, Labrys. Kill the scion of Kirijo first. <laughs> you specialize in tearing apart your companions, right? No. No, I'm not your puppet. I have a heart of my own. 
heart? Like I give a crap. You want me to erase all that too, then? Stop! 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 Please! No! Uh, Labrys! Damn it, you son of a bitch! If it's tough for you to hurt your companions, then I'll blast your consciousness into nothing! So hurry up and tell them! Labrys, don't, don't give up! Don't Believe give in up. yourself! Believe in yourself! Bonds? A heart? What, what a lame ass! ass. Just, Just like, like always. You're... the other me. That's, That's right. right. I am you. I'm, I'm the you within, within yourself that you keep, keep a lid on. on. <laughs> I don't think you really understand. So I'll make an exception and tell you. Your body is special. You have two memory banks. One for yourself. Another, a black box that would allow you to absorb the memories of the other Lauris units when you killed them and took their name. It was such a surprise. Thanks to that, even after I became one with you, my personality was preserved in it. Ah. <laughs> oh. This is amazing. It is pounding with the resonations of the plume of dust. I've been waiting all this time for your will to weaken. And now? Now this body is finally mine! What? It's about time you ended this. Believe in your friends? Look where that got you. Am I right? Don't you hate him? Don't you want to... Destroy him? Enough of this bullshit about bonds and camaraderie! All you have to do is destroy everything! Put that gigantic axe on your back to use! <laughs> huh? What? Labrys! Hey, you piece of junk! Can't you follow the simplest order properly? How broken are you? <laughs> follow oh, orders? <laughs> that voice. <laughs> Kiss my skinny little ass, you punk kid. As if I listen to whatever crap you order me to do. Labrys? I can destroy whatever I want. That includes whiny brats like you who try to get in my way and order me around. You piece of junk! You call me a brat, but you're no different! I mean, what the hell are you? <laughs> Can it, brat! Labrys has turned into a really bad girl! That's Labrys's shadow! I thought she had disappeared! Crap. So wiping out the rational mind made its true self show up? Goddamn shitty robot, it's completely useless! Cut the crap, brat! Come at me! Come, Persona! Asterius! What? Seriously? She can even summon that cow monster from before? Wait, did she just call it her Persona? You little... What the hell's going on here? What do you expect? Ariadne, that frilly little thing isn't worthy of being my partner.
You better watch out. I know ordinary shadow. I'm finally free. Free to wreak as much havoc as I want. <laughs> Shit! You broke the goddamn remote! What the hell are you, damn it? Oh, what's, what's wrong, wrong, little boy? Don't, don't tell me you're, you're done already! I'm not even close to being satisfied! Is that the real Labrys? No. That's her suppressed emotions running wild. That show guy brought this on himself. He couldn't have known something like this would happen with Labrys' memories. But this is bad! Yeah. She was already a handful when we all went up against her. This is gonna be even worse now. Damn it. I guess I should put an end to you now. <laughs> How do you want it? Ah, oh, yes. You wanted me to tear you apart, didn't you? You monster. Try it if you can. You're not worth my time, but I don't care anymore. I'll do everything in my power to destroy you! <laughs> Stop, Labrys! You've done enough! Don't do it! He's not worth it! Out of my way, you bastards. I don't, I don't need more of your friendship, friendship games from last time. time. No! If you're seriously gonna do this, then you've gotta get past us! What are you doing? It's too dangerous! Get away from her! I'm sorry, Akihiko-san, but we can't back down from this. We're Labrys' friends! We could never let her accept this fate! Huh. We're not sticking up for this guy, but we'll never let one of our friends become a murderer. <laughs> she... she put her weapon down. This, this is, is more garbage. garbage. Do whatever, whatever you, you want, want, you idiots. idiots. This place... what happened to me? <laughs> you. I've had, I've had enough, enough of this shit. shit. I'm, I'm not, not dealing, dealing with, with it anymore. anymore. Huh? You're... You're giving control of my body back to me? <laughs> You're, You're the, the one who, who likes, likes playing house. You were actually... <sighs> you did that to help me. Thank you. Shut up. Just take, take over, over for me already. already. Oh, and... Um... Oh. <gasps> Labrys! Labrys! Labrys, are you alright? You, Kun? Everyone! She's back to herself? You're actually lonely deep down, aren't you? You don't like being alone. Uh, Labrys? Now what? Are you even more broken now? You think I'm lonely? If you're that mixed up, maybe destroying you would be doing you a favor. I was like you once. You just haven't realized what's in your heart. It's because no one ever accepted you for who you are. Huh? Labrys, what are you saying? That guy... I know, I know, but... I understand his feelings, too. He was raised by this Akutsuki guy, but when Akutsuki died... He was just thrown out into the world. You can't bear to live in this world, so you want to tear it down around you. But isn't that just something you're telling yourself? Even I found a home with Mitsuru-san and them. If you just opened up your heart, you could live in this world. You could have friends. Shut up. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up! What the hell are you yapping about, you stupid puppet? I... I... What is this? My legs! 
I can't... Oh, not this power again! Damn it! This can't be... This power... Stop putting useless ideas in his head. Do you intend to destroy him? You're... Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Minazuki. Show Minazuki. I am the one who will grant this boy his wish. What happened to this guy? He seems completely different now. Wait, I sense the plume of dusk. Who are you? I have no need to explain. This boy yearned for me, and I awakened within him. That is all. <laughs> Whatever you're doing to us, is this another of your powers? Oh, don't get me wrong. This power doesn't belong to me. I'm only borrowing it. Borrowing? The place is shaking. This isn't good. The building's creaking. It's about time everything was ready. This is all thanks to you, so... Thank you. I have gathered enough Persona Fragments. What was all this fighting for? What are you going to do? It's simple. I borrowed power to envelop this town in red fog and make you fight against your fakes. It was all to carve off of your Personas. Huh? Carving our Personas? That's right. Our bait truly came in handy. All that's left is to awaken that thing. So it's like we thought. This town feels like it's in the dark hour. And there's a tower similar to Tartarus. You're going to try to awaken death. Just like Ikutsuki! Ah, uh, not precisely. What I'm trying to awaken is not the same thing you fought against. I will grant this boy his wish and create his world. Damn it! If only I could move! I'll be going now. There were still some finishing touches that must be made. You're free to come after me, but your missing friends are in danger. It would be wiser to go and rescue them. Yukiko-san. Hey, yeah. It's not just her. What have Risei and Naoto been up to? Minazuki just said that they're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Before, Before you, you worry, worry about, about that, that, you have to deal, deal with, with me. me. Now, bring on the ring! Labrys... everyone... I'm sorry. My judgment was flawed. I'm responsible for all of this. Jeez, there you go again with that stuff. Still, I'm really glad you're okay. Thank you. It's all thanks to you. 
Oh, Fuka's safe too. She's headed this way from somewhere else right now, though. I see you managed to find Yukari-san, Junpei-san. Hey, Ken? Man, you've grown. I mean, of course I did. It's all going according to plan. But I heard that you fell asleep on your train and ended up here by accident. You never change, do you? we were done for I thought you turned into your shadow for a moment back there what was that all about I don't know but I guess my shadow's been within me all this time watching everything I've seen and I think she's changing too even if only little by little and it was all of you who brought me back you really did help us thank you About you. Labrys, you came to save us, right? Thank you. Whoa, he really is a talking costume. Um, you're not General Teddy, right? Gah, of course I'm not. Look at my fur. It's completely different. It's 100% genuine teddy fur. <laughs> Koromaru-san says that his is 100% genuine dog fur. Well, yeah. I mean, he's a dog. Hey, what kind of fur is your coat made of, Mitsuru-san? This? Kikuno bought this coat, so... No, let us save the discussion of fur for later. Narukami, I must thank you. It seems we're once again indebted to you. No, I have to apologize for breaking my promise to you. Your people have helped us out, too. That's fine. You helped me remember something important. We did? That's right. Trying to keep danger and death at a distance only results in putting life at a remove as well. I knew this when I established the Shadow Operatives, but it seems that I became too focused on thinking only about the present. <laughs> Mitsuru-san... Allow me to ask for your help now, Narukami. I'd like you and your friends to cooperate with us. We need your assistance to solve this case. Do I really need to answer that? Of course we'll protect Inaba. By the way, why don't we all compare what we know about the situation? Oh, you're on the ball, Ken. I was just about to suggest that myself. Uh, yep. Yeah, right. You're just trying to claim his idea. I mean, seriously. How lame do you have to be to try and steal credit from someone so much younger? Who in the world is that show kid? Didn't he say something about Akutsuki being his dad? Well, presumably he had a life before he was the chairman of Gekukan High. Couldn't he have had a child during that time? No. Ikutsuki had no family, let alone a child. The only things on his mind were his experiments and the fall. Yeesh, so he was a mad scientist? Oh, don't tell me he was doing human experiments, too. Yes, he gathered orphans from different areas and performed inhumane research on them, to try to artificially induce their personas. Whoa, seriously? That's messed up. Even after Ergo research was disbanded, it seems Ikutsuki stole the research data and continued performing such experiments personally. One of those test subjects was named Sho Minazuki. The records state that he was the youngest of the test subjects. An orphan, huh? Did Ikutsuki adopt him? No, Shominazuki was nothing more than a favorite subject to Ikutsuki. Test subject? 
But he's a person. How could he do such a horrible thing? The Kirijo group of the time was an evil place, suffused with his arrogance. It isn't hard to imagine how he was treated with Akutsuki in charge. Minazuki was raised in a solitary environment, never interacting with anyone. I suspect his experiences from that time greatly affected the development of Minazuki's current personality. So that's why he said Akutsuki was his dad. And he told bad jokes like Akutsuki too. Hey, that reminds me. In the middle there, he suddenly seemed like a different person. What was that all about? Mitsuru-san, when he reintroduced himself as Minazuki, I sensed some kind of resonation with my Plume of Dusk. What could that mean? There is no information on that. The same goes for the power he had when his eyes turned red. Perhaps they are a result of Ikutsuki's experimentation. The entirety of the report has not been deciphered, but Ikutsuki's data does mention Minazuki's name and the Plume of Dusk. Kikuno's decoding it now. Oh, I, I have it too! Kikuno-san entrusted me with it because it was an emergency. Ah, that's fine. Either way, I was intending to share it with all of you once the report had been completely deciphered. Hey, when he got all cold and called himself Minazuki, he said that he was an after-revenge for Ikutsuki, right? Correct. Based on what he said, it seems this Minazuki set this situation in motion to grant the hot-headed boy his wish for immense solitude. And then he was talking about persona fragments. Yeah, that's right. He said that he covered the town in this red fog and was carving our personas by making us fight in it. The sense of fatigue we felt when we were on those crosses is most likely part of that same plan. Looks like we completely fell for it. But he said that he'd gathered enough fragments of our personas, didn't he? Then... Yes, he's most likely completed that step of the plan. What was that part about awakening something? I mean, I can guess that it's going to be pretty dangerous, but what's he trying to call down? I know nothing about that, but if it's similar to what we encountered at Tartarus, it's nothing welcome. Persona fragments, huh? What in the world is he planning on using them for? Oh! That reminds me! Yukiko and the others! That's right! That Minazuki guy said that Yuki-chan and the people with her are in danger! Naoto-san and Kanji-san said that they were going to Juness. According to Junpei-san, supposedly Yukiko-san and Risei-san were at the same location. Huh? Oh, right. But those two said they were going to go look for Kanji and the others, so I don't think they're still there. They could miss each other. Yes, I'm concerned about them as well. Let's split into two teams. One heads to the top of the tower while the other searches for Narukami's friends. Yamagishi, perform a search and try to locate them as best you can. Understood. I don't know how well it'll go, but I'll try searching for everyone. We're counting on you. Persona. There's so much interference. The fog might be getting thicker. Oh! I have two readings near Juness. That may be Kanji-kun and Naoto-kun. They seem to be moving towards Juness. And I found another two readings in town on the move together. Do you think that's Yukiko and Risei? Oh, I'm so worried. Oh, what the? We must hurry. Yukari, Iori, Amada, and Koromaru, you're the least wounded. You pursue Minazuki. Got right. it! I will go with Akihiko and Aigis to rescue Narukami's friends. Got Understood. It. Yamagishi, you remain here and back us up. Narukami's group, you're all too exhausted. 
I ask that you remain here and regain your strength. I'll do everything I can to assist you. Whoa, seriously? Will? No, we should stay here. Fukasan needs someone to protect her as well. Hey, what about me? I'm perfect. Mitsuda-san, Teddy's got a great nose, so I think he'll at least be of some use. Please let him help you find our friends. Some use? How rude! I'm totally useful! My babe Dar is up and running! Uh, I see. That's promising. Well then, you can assist us, Teddy. Mitsuru-san, the school and this town have both turned into labyrinths. It would be unproductive for us to search the town all in one group. Yeah, I guess is right. If we're all caught together again, things will get worse. Let's split into two teams to search faster. All right, I can provide some guidance as well. I guess and Teddy, you partner up. Akihiko and I will go together. Once you meet with Narukami's friends, head for Juness. We'll regroup there and secure the area. Woo! I get to be alone with Aichan? Their bodies were artificial, but their love was real. Okay, I'm in. Labrys, I should ask you this now. What do you think about that young man, Sho Minazuki? Well, I know we can't let him destroy the world and all, but... But... I think he's the same as me. I want to see him one more time and try to talk to him. Just like you all saved me, I want to save Sho. Very well. I want you to pursue Minazuki as well. I'm counting on you, Labrys. Okay. <laughs> 